It's Wednesday, October 16th, and forget Rally Bear, I've got Rally Bill. <laughs> That was amazing. That was my favorite thing I've ever done on No Filter. All right, that's a wrap. Great. Good job, Bill. <laughs> Good job, Bill. You can go now. All right, everybody. Let's be serious here. Welcome to No Filter. I'm Katie Nolan, and these are your top headlines of the day. Lakers guard Nick Young posted Instagram videos of him tobogganing in China, including one where he crashed. See, when the Lakers go to China, they're luge users. But here in America, they're huge losers. Pistons guard Brandon Jennings will miss three weeks because his wisdom tooth is impacted. So in basketball, a toothache gets you three weeks. And in hockey, it gets you three Advil, if you're lucky. A Baltimore restaurant called Nacho Mama's randomly printed a jab at RG3 on their menu that read, Robert Griffin III has more generations in his name than wins this season. That joke is cheesier than your nachos. That joke is cornier than your tortillas. That burn is worse than the one on the roof of my mouth from your fajitas. But it's not worse than any of these. Let's move on. <laughs> Olympic wrestler Jordan Burroughs got married over the weekend, and he had his bride wear his signature golden wrestling shoes. He told her that if she married him, he'd give her golden shoes. She thought he said gold and shoes, and now she's pissed. The New York Times has revealed that the original copy of the contract that Manu Ginobili signed this summer was stolen in a freak bird attack. If we've learned anything here, it's that you shouldn't print contracts on french fries. <laughs> During a recent radio appearance, Rex Ryan guaranteed that the Jets will beat the Pats this Sunday as long as Jets fans got as loud as they did on September 20th 2009. He continued the interview to say, also, if you guys could sit in the exact same seats and wear the exact same clothes, and if we could get those exact same players that we used to have, then we would definitely win. That can't happen? Oh, well, we tried. A new study says that Oreos are as addictive as cocaine, which makes me feel a lot better about that time I s***ed a d for a sleeve of Oreos. <laughs> Redskins running back Alfred Morris spent $10,000 refurbishing his car, a 1991 Mazda. Redskins love to spend money on things made in the 90s. Let's just hope this one runs better. Jose Canseco tweeted last night that he won a 50 and over senior softball tournament in Florida, which is very exciting for Jose Canseco. Only problem, Jose Canseco is 49 years old. So you cheated, you bent the rules, and then you told everyone about it? Old habits die hard. And that's it for No Filter, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to tune in live at 5 p.m. Eastern to Fox Sports 1 for a brand new episode of Crowd Goes Wild featuring Villanova basketball coach Jay Wright. And Bill will be there, too. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. I was going to do it. I was going to do it, and I will see you tonight on your televisions and tomorrow back here on the Internet. Bye. Bill, come dance with me. You're a very heavy breather. <laughs>